Hello children, hello everyone. Welcome to the English Classes Series with me, your one and only, Teacher Leo. And for this video, we are going to study about word association and analogy. Let's start. And to start with, let me read to you a poem entitled, The Shape of Things. What is a circle? What is a round? A quarter rolling on the ground. A wheel? is a circle so is the moon a battle cap or a big balloon what is a square with sides the same the wooden board for a checkered game a slice of cheese at a tv screen a table napkin to keep you clean what is a rectangle straight or tall the door that stands within your wall. A dollar bill, a loaf of bread, the mattress lying on your bed. What is a triangle with sides of three? A piece of pie for you and me. A musical triangle, ding, ding, ding. A slice of pizza for everything. These are shapes seen everywhere triangle rectangle circle square if you look closely where you've been you'll surely see the shapes are in now let's try to study the words that were mentioned now under the shapes we have the circle square rectangle and triangle now they also mention uh, things with shapes which include wheel, wooden board, door, a piece of pie. Now, okay, what we did there was what we call classifying. Now, when we say classifying, it is arranging or sorting things according to their similarities and characteristics and when we also say classifying it also falls under what we call uh, called as word analogy or analyzing things that are the same or that have similarities with each other just like what we did Now here, let's see an example here. Okay, let me read it to you. Teacher Paula gave Charlie 10 packs of seeds. So there were seeds of jackfruit, pechai, mango, mango patola, guava, radish, kangkong, atis, chico, and watermelon. So now let us help Charlie classify these seeds into two groups. Now, okay, the seeds that were mentioned can be classified or can be grouped into two. We have here the trees and we have here, of course, the vegetables. Now, let's try to see the things or the seeds that are going to grow into trees. So we have, the, of course, we have the jackfruit, we have the mango, atis, chico, watermelon, and guava. Meanwhile, the seeds mentioned that are considered as vegetables, we have their pechay, patola, radish, and kangkong. Alright, good job children. Good job. Now, let's have an activity. So, let's try this. Alright, so I want you to get again a piece of paper and a pen. Are you ready? Now, let's start. Now read the words in each row, so three of the words belong to one group. Okay, then identify the word that does not belong. 
Okay, so I'll be giving you a couple of seconds to answer this. Okay, go. Alright, now I hope you're done. Okay, now let's check for number one for the words bread, car, candy, and soup. Of course, the one, the word that does not belong, of course, is car. Now for number two, we have their blue, rainbow, green, and red. Well, of course, the word that does not belong is rainbow. Now we have number 3, we have arm 3, 4, and 15. And obviously the word that does not belong is arm. Now number 4, we have the plane, house, bus, and bike. Now obviously the one that does not belong is house. Now for number 5, we have tree, plant, ant, and flower. Okay, now, well, obviously, the one that does not belong is the word ant. Alright, so I hope you got all those uh, answers correctly. Alright, virtual clap, everyone, virtual clap. And at this point, I want to thank each and every one who have watched my English classes series. I hope you've learned something from it. Now, don't forget to ring the notification bell and to continue to subscribe to my channel so that you can be updated when I finally upload the next succeeding English classes series for quarter two. Again, this has been Teacher Leo. Bye-bye, everyone. Keep safe.